Okay, brand new camera, so you should now be able to see everything I can see, everything in my field of view, meaning uh, you should be able to see exactly where I'm striking the cue ball, how I'm playing the shot, it's how much backspin I'm putting on the cue ball here to get up the table. Not exactly in an ideal position there. I thought I was going to can on the red. It's a little bit of a difficult shot here, got to really spin the cue ball back for the black here and not play it too hard because it's a tight angle in the middle pocket. But well, that's gone quite well. So hopefully I can play a better positional shot this time. So a nice slow screw shot again. So there'll be basically three types of shot I'm playing. So the next one I'm playing with top spin. I think I am anyway. No, I'm not. I'm playing a slow stun shot here now. So that's one of the types of shot. A lot of back spin, play it quite slowly. Punch it like this next shot. So we're just going to punch the cue ball through the gap there. I hope. Ah, just caught the red. That might have gone wrong. Now we can just about pop the red, I think. And uh, I've forgotten which shots I've said. Run through, punch it, and play it with a lot of spin, basically. We just about could pop that. So on the blue nicely, I'm just gonna roll it through. Drop down for those two reds over there. Got a nice open table just to test out the camera here really today. But it's looking, from bits I've done quickly, it's looking good. So we'll see how it works with one big video. Um, right, not a nice angle, so I'm stunning back up for the blue again. Just want to make sure I go top side. Yep. Now coming down this side of the table again because there's a choice of balls I can end up on. There's a number of shots there in the middle and the corner that go. I want to really get rid of the reds that block the pink from going in the uh, corner pockets. There's two of them at the moment. I'm nearly on one of them. Yeah, it's just landing a bit awkward at the moment to get on the black or pink or anything nice. So stunning off the cushion, up for the blue. Again, just the only worry about the shot is you sometimes go a little bit too high like that and we end up the wrong side and you can never guarantee 100% you're gonna be in position. So I'm canning the red here, so maximum backspin can on that red, oh, I've stuck it over the pink. It's, I can still pod it, but that's a red I've desperately got to get rid of soon. And back up for the blue again. So in a second I'll get down on the black again, which will allow me to get rid of the balls I need to get rid of. So playing on and off the side cushion here, just running it through. Might have done it again, you know. <laughs> this is a good exercise in getting back up for the blue. So, stun the red in, top side of the blue again. Just want to again get the weight right. I knew I'd get it wrong eventually. Try to be too precise then. So, important to miss the yellow. I think the way I'm playing it. So, not too much side. Just getting between the yellow and brown, which I've done. Oh, I haven't. Oh, that's a bad shot, really. Okay. <laughs> Finished really awkward and straight on that blue, but I've been a little bit lucky that I've got a chance at a long red now. So if I can get this, I'm nicely on the black. Whoa, needed a little bit more concentration on that one anyway. Just play this with top spin. We can run through the red on the top cushion. Just want to finish low on it. There we go. Perfect angle, I think, because we've just got to pot it and we'll be on the black. So you can pot it as slow as possible. Don't have to worry about how hard we're going to hit it. You know, if the pocket will take it because actually uh, rolled into the top cushion a bit, but anyway. So I'm going to pot this with the left hand side Screw it back across the table for the lowest red. 
jabbed at that one a little bit. Okay, it's going well now. We've got the pink will go if I hadn't put the red there. So I'm leaving this straighter, this next shot on the black, because I want to screw it back. You just got to be aware if you want to go that side of the table, or the same side of the table you're on the black, you don't want to go too low on it. So now I can just get about here. If I play it with the maximum backspin quite slowly. There we go. Just makes those sort of shots so much easier. So red goes from here. So I want to get above that in a minute. So we're just going to stun down for the black again. Um, hmm. Now's the time you've got to be really precise with the position. So we're going to play for the red in the middle pocket that's closest to us. That's pretty good. It's very easy to just be a bit loose on those shots and you know leave the cue ball short or go a bit too far and have a difficult part. So just want to come back to where I am now. Leave a nice angle because if we can get up here somewhere, we've uh, got the red by the pink. This would have been a lot easier if I hadn't stuck it there, but anyway. All about the pace, it's pretty good. So just need to stun across for the pink. Not go too far. Stay high of the red, because we want to be, li you got to think about where you're going next with these. So you stay high on that that so we can get low of that side and that takes us down the table. Just got a fraction too far but should be able to hold it. A lot of backspin nice and slowly. Easy does it. <laughs> right now next shot just got to stay low on the blue because we need a good positional shot because of where I've stuck the brown. We just want to go uh, Yeah, could have done with a fraction further. Just got to be very careful of the brown here. So just canning into or left hand side of it. And we'll put the blue. Oh, that couldn't have been better. Still in the way. So I've got to leave the cue ball here. Well, as close to the brown as I dare, basically. But I think fortunately, I'm coming back at the right angle. So I'll be hitting the brown if it goes too far, but I just want to make sure I come back, but not too much. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really looking good now. So I've got decisions to make about where I put the cue ball on the brown. So I'm coming back across this side, I think. That's good. Got hold of the cue ball now see the difference it makes. So down the other opposite side of the table for the blue. So we're just going to make sure we leave the right angle. Really helps you out. Ah! <laughs> I was saying that, I thought I played it perfectly. That's the worst thing I could have done over, is it? Right, I think I saw Sean Murphy miss one of these the other day. These pinks coming up. But uh, We'll be all right. Just want to make sure we don't get too close to the cushion here, so get the back spin right. Want to be close enough that the hand's on the rail. Nice straightish pink to stun over, and we'll see how the camera's doing then. Wait for the loud car to go by. They get annoying. <laughs> Not really for playing snooker, it's just like the filming, you can hear it on. The... Anyway, knock this in. Oh, why have I missed that? Obviously I'm going to have a go at that again, but a few of you have asked what my setup is for this so I can film these videos. And what I'm doing is I'm using a DJI Osmo 2, which probably isn't the perfect action camera, but for this definitely works really well. And as you can see with this, I've got it wrapped around upside down. So when I actually put the thing over my head, 
it goes just above my eyes so I can literally see everything and it's pretty wide so this this thing works pretty good for these types of video okay time for a little bit of redemption after <laughs> what's just happened with that pink um the only, I'm having a go again then if um the only thing I've changed with the settings is uh I've turned the ISO max down to 800 whatever that means but I'm hoping it gives makes the exposure better around the pink and doesn't make it too dark everywhere else but we'll see how it goes because I thought the video other than that the images look really good and it'd be really good for doing these sort of videos in the future the one thing I don't understand and maybe someone watching will have an answer to is when I queue up to the ball here obviously for me it looks like I'm queuing up completely straight but on um, the video it looks like I'm queuing left to right you know, the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. And I don't know if anybody knew what I could do because whatever position I put it in, it looks like that. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm using like, um, I've got it on a thick setting called horizon lock. So that's why um, when you're, uh, you're looking at this, wherever I move my head around, which I will in a minute, like that, you know, I can tilt right over sideways. It all should look like it's a, uh, it all should stay perfectly level, which I thought was good. But uh, anyway, let's uh, get get rid of these balls and <laughs> finally make the clearance. So I'm gonna get rid of the red on the top cushion next. I'm stunning down these two shots off the black. Um, just coming on and off the cushion here to make sure I've got an angle. Oh wow, well that's not good is it? <laughs> that really isn't good. That got a massive bounce. There must have been some chalk on the cushion there or something. Either that or it's probably me. So can I put this red in the middle pocket? Keep the brake going. Deadly silence. Thank God that didn't roll off. <laughs> Had to concentrate on that one. Now the black's in a dodgy position. But we're still going. We're running around the pink spot quite handily. Things uh, which makes things a lot easier. So if I just stun across from the this red onto the blue, just gonna make sure I finish top side. Make sure I finish top side. You can tell when I'm moving the walls along. I don't think it's gonna get there. Right. Running through for that one. Still got a red on the top cushion, which could be a problem later. I want to get rid of that before we get right to the end. So I'm going to get down the table easier. So we'll head down that way now. Playing for the red furthest down the table on the right. Just dragging that in. Might not have landed ideal on it. Yeah, I've ended up straight on it, but I'm perfect on this red. So I can then just stun for the pink and stun back pretty much where I am, except make the angle a bit better. Which is always handy when you can do that. So just got to leave this straight, really. Well, not straight. Get the angle right this time, I mean. <laughs> I think I've done it again, you know, but I've got another red. Right. I'm going to play this other red in the middle pocket and try and do the same thing. Get on this red a bit better, but you can see how easy it is when you get around a pink spot like this. Got the angle wrong now. Well, I wish I'd never mentioned that red over there. Just going to run through for the red above the black. Next, we can play fairly straight on the black now, because that if I stun that there, That'll be perfect. Just want a slight angle down, but not too much. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, just gonna stop it. Stun run through a bit because, um, yep, ideal. Get closer to the red. Now all I've got to do is drop it in and we'll probably be coming over here next. I see only one 
stuff that's really awkward. It's not really awkward, but you know, you could categorize as slightly awkward, I suppose. Actually, I'm going to go the. Uh, I'm going to stun the other side of it, just to make sure we get in position. Ah, I was a bit worried there. I'm never over it because I knew I'd always have the choice of the other two. So, get in and around the pink spot. Get rid of the last two. So it's fairly straight on the pink here. Yep, got the angle to come across on this for this red. So we can get right in over the top of it. That's pretty good. Hopefully I can reach that. We can just screw it back then for the pink. But it's just so easy that this little stun shot's around the pink spot. Oh God, that's a long way away. Just gonna come back six or seven inches. Right. So, Slow it down as much as possible here. I want to screw back off this red, so I don't want to go too far at all. I want to really probably can play for the black, but I think ideally I want to screw back for the blue. Just make sure I get in the right position and don't go too far. Really got the weight of the table now, so it should be. Couldn't play it much better. So down for the yellow, so it's not too difficult to shot. Yeah, spot on. Just want to, ooh, that's a red. Leave myself a straight green. So I don't have to do anything with it. It's much easier now, the brown's on its spot this time around. I'll blame that for last time. That was good. <laughs> Moved on that too much. Right, stun it in. Concentration. <laughs> um, what sort of angle do I have? Normally I stun it off the cushion over there, which I think I'm going to do again. Just stun it off the, on and off the cushion for the blue. Don't go too far this time. Oh, what a fool. <laughs> should we play the same shot again and get it right this time? Or should we play it from the other side? Let's play it from this side this time. I fancy it more on this side. We're not going to get foiled by the same shot twice. I don't think I've ever used the word foiled before. But anyway, <laughs> not in that context. Right. Stun this in for the black. Oh, oh, this is getting ridiculous. Can't believe the same thing went wrong twice in a row, but the camera was a definite success. Oh. If I can get that Q angle sorted out, it looked a lot wider and better. All that's left to do is to find Scott, who's from Sligo Island. Which is there. And if you want to see any videos where I actually managed to clear the table, have a look at these two. And remember, don't just watch, play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.